Hi, my name is Angel and today I'm going to show you how to use photographic printing paper to create photographic images without using a camera. So basically what photographic paper is is that it's a paper, it's a special paper that has a layer of chemicals that which reacts with sunlight, it's um, UV sensitive, um, and it changes color when it's exposed. So what people usually do with these paper is that they can put like 2D or 3D objects onto the paper that will block the light, part of the light away when the paper is exposing to sunlight. That way the blocked area won't change color and so we'll see the shape of the image on the paper. It's kind of like how x-ray works but except that we use like sunlight but not x-rays. So um, this is a pack of photographic paper. You can see that it's um, put in a black bag because we don't want it to be exposed before we use it. So you can get it in art stores or any maybe online and it's not that expensive and it's pretty fun to use. Um, there's something that you may want to know is the coating is kind of toxic so you don't want to eat the paper or lick the paper. So. When we take the paper out, it's basically blue in color and the other side is white. The side with the blue color is the side coated with the chemicals. So we want to use this side. So basically how this works is we take a cardboard and we put the sensitive paper onto the cardboard. And now we can choose some objects with interesting shapes or just like interesting objects that you want to place on the paper to be recorded. Um, what, we, what I have here is a stencil that looks like a bird, so here. And I have a bird cage and a nice piece of lace. So what you want to do is basically just to place the item on the paper and just compose it in a way that looks nice. After you're done composing it, you can basically take it out for exposure. So you take the whole piece to a place that is pretty well lighted, pretty sunny, and then you just leave it there for exposure. Usually if it's a sunny day, then it only takes around like two minutes to expose. If it's a cloudy day, it might take around 15 to 20 minutes. It really depends on the light situation. So what happens is after it's exposed, the blue part will turn into white and the part that is blocked by the objects will remain blue. So that's how you record the shape of the objects. And when you get the nicely exposed piece of paper, then you can take the whole piece and you run it in running water. And what that does is it will wash away all the blue parts and the, and the white part will turn blue. So it's kind of complicated. It's like the color will reverse. So what you get in the end is something like this. So you can see how the shape of the stencil and the shape of the lace is recorded. They're like nicely composed and it's like white in color. So photographic paper is a very fun way to like experiment with different shapes and objects and you don't really need anything, you just need the paper and the objects. And it's very fun and you can exper experiment with different objects, for example like liquid or fruit or like plants that you can do. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you have fun with these paper.